But let me just read from one of these books. It, it's called The Life of Rosa Parks by Kathleen Connors. It was pulled from second grade classrooms in the Duval County Public School District in Florida. So let's just see what is, what is so objection, objectionable. Quiet beginnings. When Rosa Louise McCauley was born in 1913, no one knew she'd make a stand for civil rights. Rosa lived on her grandparents' farm in Alabama. She went to a segregated school where her mother taught. Rosa had to leave school to care for her grandmother and mother when they became ill. But after she married Raymond Parks in 1932, she was able to go back, and Rosa was proud of her high school diploma. Rosa and Raymond believed everyone should be equal. They joined the NAACP in Montgomery, Alabama, hoping to help blacks gain their civil rights. Rosa worked as a secretary for the group. In 1955, Rosa boarded a bus after work in Montgomery. At the time, there was a law that said a black person had to give up their seat if a white person needed it. Rosa refused, and she was arrested. On the day of Rosa's trial, black leaders planned a boycott of all the city buses in Montgomery, Alabama. It was a big statement because many blacks used buses to get around. Rosa was fined, but she wouldn't pay. By 1956, her case had reached the U.S. Supreme Court. It declared Alabama's segregation laws illegal. This, de this decision ended the bus boycott after 381 days. Rosa's troubles weren't over. She lost her job. Some people said they wanted to hurt her. She and her family then moved to Detroit, Michigan in 1957. None of this stopped Rosa from believing in equality. Rosa continued support of the civil rights movement, earned her and Rosa's continued support of the Civil Rights Movement earned her great praise. In 1996, she was given the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Then Rosa received the Congressional Gold Medal in 1999. Rosa died in 2005. Today, she's often called the mother of the Civil Rights Movement. Rosa's, sto Rosa's story teaches a very important lesson. Even small actions can have a big impact. Um, so my question, uh, for Chairman Fox, um, it's very simple. It's a yes or no question. You know, Rosa Parks has a statue in National Statuary Hall. She uh, laid an honor here um, in the rotunda of the United States Capitol building when she died. And so this is a simple, non-controversial children's book about her life. 